Hello everyone, <clears throat> welcome to the channel Rat here from Ratku Tarot and this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon and Leo Rising weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for August 27th to uh, September 2nd 2018. So uh, before we start with the tarot spread guys, in case you do want a personal reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video and on top of that there is a, an end of a summer sale going on which concerns the 30 minute purchase here and you get a, a 10 minute bonus as soon as you purchase the 30 minute service. So uh, with that being said, going to the tarot reading first here, now the first position of the uh, of the card expresses the topic for you Leos for that week. Second position what we do have here is going to be regarding the core of the situation. Third position what we do have is going to be the challenges you have to take on and the last position regards to the uh, guidance that you should obtain or follow here. Now let's see what you got guys. <clears throat> now firstly we do have the Queen of Cups. That is the topic of your week. And as the Queen of Cups holds the her emotions in front of her, deliberating upon them and comprehending of what she's feeling, that means that this week is going to be rather very peaceful for you. And in this week is it is where you actually will analyze your emotions, find out which 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 of those emotions are fallacies, which of those emo emotions are true emotions. Therefore, you are rather to uh, kind of uh, find yourself transformed either into your career or either into your relationship. Uh, and in relationship, I mean in general relationship status. Now in this week, as we do have that card as the topic, it is likely that you may find out that you like different stuff that you have, that you have liked until this very that you didn't like until this very very moment or vice versa so this is a some sort of a transformation transcendence into one's emotional state and how one feels about a specific person or about a, a specific um undertaking that it is going on so it is very favorable time where you can become uh, humble about regarding yourself and in peace with one's situation and with one's position. And the core of the situation or why you will experience that kind of a, a state of peace, that will be the Four of Swords. So uh, the Four of Swords here tells us nothing else but that some of your issues will suddenly disappear. Now the Four of Swords is the peaceful environment one is sitting in, so one now has a uh, a profound understanding of one's true emotions, one's true goal, and one's true um, position, if you want to say it that way. Because when a person struggles, you know, their uh, understanding and their per, um, Mm. Um, uh, their take on the uh, situations which are peripheral is kind of twisted and diverse because you, uh, I'm sure you can agree that uh, when you for example were very stressful, um, very, very stressed and oppressed into your career you know and you are trying to tackle with that difficult project and the project demands that your job is on the line here, you are not very concerned of what is going on with your relationship you know it's, you kind of like put your relationship on the back state and same goes vice versa when your relationship is, is down on the sink but your job Job is rather not very demanding then you stop caring too much about your job because you're focusing more upon your relationship so that kind of a time where you uh, you kind of place your um, your existence out of balance where you are prone to one thing over another will be over here for the duration of that week and this is where you can come back you know to to those kind of um, fields of your life which you uh, recently neglected so you can kind of regain back the emotional the emotional connection with them and um, <clears throat> to um, 
analyze you know uh, how how important those people those things and in general those situations are for you so you can take the best appropriate measures you know to nurture one relationship or to nurture one project etc etc so this week for you Leo is going to be a week of uh, it will be a comprehensive week where you are going to um, reach deep within your um, with, uh, within the reason of your well-being, separating the uh, meaningless um, enterprises and meaningless standpoints from the meaningful ones, so you can focus more upon the meaningful than the meaningless one. Then we do have the challenges which you have to overcome here. That will be the hangman. And as I said, that this week is going to be very peaceful and very humble week. Uh, and you are Leo. Uh, and as Leo, you know, I'm not an astrologer, but I, as a Leo is a fire sign, I do believe that you are prone more to activity rather than to, you know, sit in one place and just comprehend on what is going on around you. That card points exactly this. The challenge that nothing will happen really around you, This uh, and this week could be taken as a week of boredom, as a week of, uh, of lack of activity, and as a week of laziness as well. And that could come challenging to you, therefore, or you may try to kind of provoke some sort of a, an action, some sort of uh, uh, stirring the situation here. And this is exactly what you should not do here, guys, as the hangman points that any kind of forceful actions upon the undertakings, you know, or upon the, um, the projects that you are dealing with and the relationship in general will be kind of futile. This is by the, uh, the hangman, because the hangman, in order to overcome that challenge, what you need to do here, it is exactly nothing but to wait. It out and while you're waiting it out this is the time where you can really um, start indulging yourself with your emotions with your feelings so you can obtain um, you can regain excuse me the uh, back the emotional connection with certain things in your life or you can obtain an emotional connections with uh, recently um, developed a a new uh, enterprises like a new partner um, a person of interest here or a new job new project etc etc it is all about you know how you take on the world around you realizing that you can be much happier if you try to emotionally connect with those things, with, with the blessings which are around you, realizing that for now the problems that you do have in, uh, in the recent past are somehow not very, um, not very meaningful for you as they are not, um, as they doesn't have that kind of an impact upon uh, your daily environment at this particular week. And the last card here uh, gives us the glimpse of how you should approach the situation and that is the Ace of Cups and this card speaks for itself here and it kind of uh, strengthens the Queen of Cups which speaks about emotion. Now the Ace of Cups here uh, encourages you to um, involve yourself or kind of manifest on only those kind of activities or those kind of uh, situations, you know, contribute into those kind of situations which gives you pleasure and you should not feel yourself obliged to contribute into a, an enterprises in situations which are kind of annoying, aggravating to you and they make no sense whatsoever because the ace of cups is all about uh, refilling back the joy in your heart so in this week you need to regain back the uh, the meaning for life and um, the meaning for life goes exactly through that that the life uh, creates joy within us if you live a life that there is no joy within it so in other words you don't do things which you enjoy then what's the point of living right so um, of course you cannot force um, joy you have to find it and as I'm saying that you cannot force someone to be with you, you cannot force someone to give you a certain project or you cannot force someone to be your companion, but you can definitely find someone who wants to be your companion, who wants to be with you, you know, who wants to give you a certain project if you, um, if you are looking uh, the situation from more business perspective etc etc and this is why the hangman comes around here that you cannot force the situation as I said but what you can do is analyze 
and trying to find a way how you can emotionally connect or where your emotional connection lies. So that's why I said that you may rediscover your emotions here. You may find out that you don't love your partner in your relationship. Therefore, you may break with your relationship, but you will be the initiator here, guys. Not in that week, maybe in the next couple of weeks, because this week will be only about the understanding of what you're truly feeling. <clears throat> but yeah, don't feel yourself despondent regarding what you find out about your emotions and about your feelings for your career for your relationship don't feel guilty all right because until this very moment the, the appearance here of the four of swords points that you have been quite oppressed from a, a peripheral worries which did not allow you to truly realize what your emotions are and where th those emotions emotions are pushing you to what and right now as you're realizing that you are find your you are finding yourself transformed and that transformation of course demands a change and let's now see what the Lenormand cards has to say for you, uh, Leos. We do have the two, uh, the twenty-one, which is the um, the mountain with the um, the tree, and then we do have the mice. So as these cards appear, then you will find out what truly causes you difficulties for a quite. A lot of time and most likely that lies within you that is something from your behavior something from your lifestyle because the tree sits as a lifestyle and it's how it comes a, a very noxious lifestyle here that we do have a, a very troublesome one uh, is kind of doesn't allow you to experience um, openness doesn't allow you to experience happiness etc etc and as, as again I'm saying that could be the noxious relationship of yours that could be uh, the um, the obligation to take on a, a bad treatment from your family from your friends no not wanting to stand for yourself you know and to say that they don't have the right to treat you that way etc etc but what my point here with the Lenormand cards is is that through your uh, comprehensive actions regarding your emotions here realizing what your emotions truly are you are going to act upon those emotions to kind of banish this uh, noxious piece or noxious part of your lifestyle or, or of your environment here that is seriously polluting um, polluting your well-being and is not allowing you to experience the joy that otherwise you deserve and that will happen through uh, because uh, as we do have the four of swords here this noxious part of your life most likely won't take place during that week and this is how you are going to find out about it so um, let's say that you do have that long-lasting marriage you know but you are feeling very unhappy not necessarily about the marriage but not ha very happy overall and suddenly your uh, your husband or a wife you know take a uh, a business trip somewhere and you find out that you can finally can breathe you know when in their absence so you are going to find out which is the noxious um, that this is the noxious part of your life or this could happen in other way around you could be forced you know to take a break of your job since you haven't taken a break for a couple of years now and when you take a break from your job you realize that you can breathe again you know and you realize that your job is the noxious part of your life and as I said the action will not happen during that week but during that week will happen the realization what needs to change so you can feel happy again so that being said Leo this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for August 27 to 2nd of September 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and again in case you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Don't forget about the end of the summer sale regarding the 30 minute sales the 30 minute service and see you next time. Until then bye.